is going on guys? We've got a OU battle. This one's gonna be OU battle against our ex wrist. The the team I was using was really hyper offense. I think you guys have already seen this in the previous video with the monotype team. But this is this will be the second and probably the last video using this team. The team was alright, it wasn't too it wasn't too good, but um the main letdown in the theme was the uh, thunderous thunderous uh, incarnate form. It wasn't it was it wasn't that good. No, that was the main problem with the team. So uh, let's go ahead and see see what happens in this battle. Um, so Vrist had a very uh, very very standard sort of team. There was the standard Rotom, the standard uh, Ferrothorn. So it, it was a pretty balanced battle. And this was this was sort of like my first attempt at uh, well, like using this team was my first attempt at OU in this generation. I didn't even do OU at all uh, in X and Y. So this was sort of my first attempt at OU. I think I did all right for my first attempt, but it wasn't it wasn't the best. Um, I wanted to make something which was standard OU, but also sort of unique in its own way. And the uniqueness comes from the fact that I don't actually have a tank at all. So that's kind of interesting how uh, my team my team ends up being like that. Now he goes into Talon Flame here. I swapped into Genie to take the Brave Bird, but he ends up going for U turn. U turn still does a lot of damage. That's that's the main thing with Thunderous. It is way too frail in this form. I really don't like it in this form because it cannot take hits at all. Uh, so he goes into Latios here using the U-turn. Now he's going to outspeed with uh, Draco Meteor. I can't tell if he's scarfed or not because I'm actually slower regardless. So I just take the safe assumption and assume he's not scarfed. And um, now with the minus 2 in special attack, he really can't do much at this point. So I decide to go into a setup Pokemon. Go into Zed here and uh, go for the Swords Dance. But... I have played, uh, I have played Vris before, and he knows I like to set up, so I decided to trick him and go for the Sucker Punch, and he was, ex he was saying in chat that he expected the Swords Dance, so that was pretty, that was pretty, I, th I thought that was a pretty good prediction. So now he goes into Gallade. Now, Gallade will essentially one-shot me if I'm not careful. So, um, he goes to Swords Dance here. Not sure why he doesn't actually Mega Revolve, not, I think, um, he's got that, He's got that boost when he gets hit by a dark type attack. That's what I'm assuming he has. So he's uh, not wanting to uh, go ahead and Mega Evolve to get that attack boost. Now he goes into Ferrothorn. I think he realizes that he's not going to beat a Sucker Punch uh, by Sharp with Shadow Sneaking. So yeah, he does end up switching out. And the fact that I, I think he also knows that I have a Focus Sash on. So there's no point staying in because... Regardless, I would go for the Iron Head. I wouldn't go for the Sucker Punch just to make sure I get that kill after uh, one or two Swords Dances. Now, I go for another Swords Dance here. I know he's going to do some status condition. So he goes for Leech Seed. Leech Seed, it's better than the Thunder Wave in my opinion. I I can probably do more damage than Leech Seed is uh doing to me within the time, you know, like within the Protects and stuff. So that ends up being a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good thing for me. Go for the final Swords Dance. Now I'm at plus six. Now this is the problem. When you're at plus six, you're at, you're, at, you're you're too low utility to actually do anything. So I'm paralyzed. I've got a leech seed on me, and I, I'm at plus six. But I won't be able to do anything because of all the uh, all the things hindering me, kind of. And so Ferrothorn is gonna go ahead and get some HP back there. I'm hoping the Iron Head is gonna hit, but no, I don't. I don't manage to get the hit. I get paralyzed. Now you know it's a problem when you get outspeed by a Ferrothorn, obviously. So. Yeah, um, fortunately for me, I'm, I'm not outspent by the Ferrothorn. That was my bad. I don't know what I was looking at there. I thought I thought that was the next turn for some reason. Um, so Le Leech Seed's going to get back its HP. As you can see, a resisted Iron Head does about 55% to a Ferrothorn. So that's pretty pretty wrecked, to be honest. But I'm on almost no HP here, and he's going to Gyra Ball and finish me off. The good thing is, I did end up doing, I did end up doing a positive amount of damage to, uh, to the Ferrothorn. As in, like, it didn't get it didn't get more damage on me than it entered with. So that's great. And I only have rocks on my side. Rocks does not affect my team except Talonflame. I mean, that's really annoying because now I can't bring out Talonflame into anything to take a hit. Talonflame is actually the, th the tankiest thing on my team. Um, because of the fact that it, it is all HP and basically most of the EVs are in, uh... Most of the EVs are in HP. I've got a couple of EVs in speed just to outspeed some things at um, low speed levels, which I thought might have priority uh, to get that priority Brave Bird. So, 
Uh, he's gonna he's gonna go for Brave Bird here. I'm hoping the recoil damage is gonna take him out because I don't I don't think I have any other priority to attack his uh, Talon Flame with. So Shadow's gonna go down there, sacrificing Shadow for the team. And unfortunately, the recoil damage does not get him. So I'm gonna have to uh gonna have to go ahead and try to kill him with his Bullet Punch from Avatar to Hulk. Hoping that he does not have the OP Flame Body, which everyone does not carry on Talon Flame. I mean, if I ever see a flame, I think I was looking at battles. I remember someone, not I was looking, someone was telling me about battle spot stats, and there's not a single Talon Flame who does not use Brave Bird. That is amazing. That means the Flame Body Talon Flame must be really, really rare. Or uh, people must just use it for breeding or something. So Talon Flame is going to go down there to a Bullet Punch. Now, Me Me Metagross is just a king. Like, Mega Metagross is just so strong. Such a strong Pokemon. Um, but unfortunately, I still have to avoid the burn from the uh, from the Rotom Wash here. So I go into Talonflame, KD Ghosty. And uh, he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, as predicted. And it does not affect me, so all is well. Now, I get back some sweet leftover leftover recovery. Uh, and you, as most people know, Talonflame versus Rotom is a very bad matchup. But I can't really do anything about it right now. So, um... I'm going to have to just go for the Brave Bird and hope it does some damage on this Rotom. And hope the Rotom doesn't end up resting or something. So, it does about 20%. That's fine. I uh, wasn't really expecting more. And he's going to go ahead and Volt Switch here. And Volt Switch is going to kill me because I'm not specially defensive. That's fine. Um, I wasn't really expecting to live anyway. And uh, Talonflame, Talonflame didn't really do much this battle. It, this, this whole battle is more of a team effort plus that Buy Sharp OP at the beginning. The, the buy sharp put in a lot of work before it died. He goes into his own buy sharp, Blue Ranger, and I go into uh I go into Metagross here. Now I did I used a very different Metagross set before someone said something in a stream. Someone was like I was I was against a Heatran and my moves were Ice Punch, Fire Punch, uh Wait, maybe sorry, Zen Headbutt, uh Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and uh Bullet Punch. And someone said that he's. I'm probably going to go for the Power Up Punch and the Heatran. And I was like, hey, that's not a bad idea. I might actually change change Ice Punch for Power Up Punch. And it ends up working really, really well. I was surprised. It ends up working amazingly well. Power Up Punch is such a strong move. Of mech. Once you get that plus one, plus two Power Up Punch, like, it's all over. They can't do anything. Power Up Punch just... It, it makes Metagross such a good Pokemon. I mean, like, look at that. That's not even stab. You get the attack boost, and plus it's boosted by th tough claws as well. It's just such a strong Pokemon after you use Power Up Punch. It, that, that's an amazing strat. Um, so that wasn't that wasn't actually my own idea, but uh, it ends, ends up working pretty well. Uh, now he goes into Shu the uh, Gallade here. Gallade's not going to take his Zen Headbutt, I don't believe, and it's not going to exactly kill me with a Shadow Sneak either. And its speed is obviously lower until the turn after it megas. So uh, that's going to be that's going to be pretty much a game. And that was a very, very nice match, uh, ex Vrist. Really enjoyed that match. We, we always have good matches, though. Uh, he takes quite a little bit of time to make his moves, but they end up being uh, really good quality matches with not a lot of stall and a lot of uh, good plays from both sides. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my uh, n my vid on my last OU battle, actually, that I'm going to upload, I think, with this team. I'll uh, see you all in the next video. Please remember to comment, subscribe, and like. See you all later.